Hi, I'm Bob Moore, and this is the second video in our study of uh, consuming JSON uh, with the Twitter API. And what we're going to do today is take a look at processing the JSON server side using XBasic. So we're using the search API here. So what we're looking at here is the exact same component, except instead of processing the information with JavaScript, we're going to use XBasic. So we'll look at the functionality. We're going to retrieve 100 uh, tweets from, with uh, referencing the Red Sox. You'll see the functionality looks exactly the same. The styling is the same. CSS is the same. A lot of it's the same, except the JavaScript and the XBasic and some of the events. Let's go take a look at it. So this should all look familiar to you. When we look at the uh, JavaScript functions that are defined, all we see is the uh, changing the alias for jQuery there. Let's go look at the uh, XBasic functions. And here we'll see, so this is the getTweets function that was previously done using uh, JavaScript, and now we're using XBasic. So this is what we will call with an with a, uh, Ajax callback. And we're going to do that right when the component loads, and we're going to do that uh, when you click on the search button. So let's go back at the controls. We'll take a look at how that actually happens. So uh, for the events on client side, on uh, initialize complete, this is where we're going to go ahead and fire off the alpha5 Ajax callback, calling the function getTweets, passing in a couple of parameters. In this case, defaults Red Sox and the count equals uh, 35. And uh, Client side after Ajax callback completes, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the image within the search button. Uh, we're going to change it to a green. So um, there aren't any server side events that are uh, going on here. So let's go ahead and we'll look back at that XBasic function. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, get tweets again. Uh, here we dim PSP. Then we go ahead and uh, and process the uh, parameters that we've passed in, they're going to be in the E object. E underbar search text. We'll are going to go ahead and URL encode that. Then we're going to go ahead and use HTT post talk to the uh, Twitter search API. We're going to pass in uh, these two uh, parameters underbar search text and underbar count. Going to look and see whether any error codes come back. Hopefully they don't. If they do, we're going to just go ahead and pop up a JavaScript alert. And uh, that'll be the end of that. Uh, in here, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start to uh, massage the uh, the data that's coming back. So all of this right in here, all this code is really just cleaning up the the JSON. It's it's uh, just pulling out the information that we're interested in. I'm not going to go into the details of that. We're using STRI Tran, which uh, hopefully you all know about. We're using filter string. We're using STRI tran s match. Uh, we're going to provide this code so that you'll have it. You can use the debugger to take a look at uh, JSON string and, and step through this and see exactly what goes on. If you've never used the XBasic debugger, all you have to do is uh, just type in uh, debug1. Go ahead and go into working preview. The debugger fires. Here's our breakpoint. If we'd like to look at any expression, go ahead and enter that in. I can expand it, and here I can see this is all the JSON that's come back. And I can now step through it. So I can study the results as we go on through. In this case, I might want to take a look at HTML. That's the code that we're calculating. I can actually see what's going on. I can see the uh, HTML that we're generating here with the tweets in it and so on. I can go ahead and continue to just step through it. You'll notice what happened to it here. And, uh, and just go ahead and click on Run. And uh, you're back in the program. So that's just a quick overview of how to use debug doing here. We're just filtering the uh, Peabody. So you'll see Peabody uh, comes back here. We set JSON string to that and then we're just filtering and massaging right there. Then you can see here's the template that actually generates the HTML. This is kind of neat. So also you'll notice in here 
the uh, the placeholders for the data ds.data and then profile underbar image underbar URL this should look familiar because these are the same uh, reference uh, items that we used in JavaScript these come from the Twitter API uh, and the other thing that's interesting to note is that we're actually calling an xBasic function right from within the template so here we're calling stri tran um, we're just pulling out the uh, quotes and replacing them with the HTML quote. And then all the magic actually happens right here with the A5 uh, merge data into template. And the final thing that we do is we clean up the uh, Ajax payload. This is a function that I wrote uh, because I found JS escape was a little bit too aggressive. So I'm just pulling out the tabs, character turn line feeds, I go ahead and uh, escape the quotes that are left within um, the payload, and, and then that's that. And we go just go ahead and we, we send that back, and notice what we're sending back. So we're sending back JavaScript, and here we're sending back jQuery, uh, select the div called twitlist, and replace all the HTML with the HTML that we just calculated. So all of that does that. And uh, so you can see it's actually quite simple. Uh, we've got some beautiful styling here. It all works the way you might like. And you might say, well, gee, why do I want to go through the process of processing all this information server side when I can do it client side? And the answer to that is if you are interested in, um, say, storing the data, so you wanted to pull these tweets out and go ahead and store them in a table, well, you could do that by doing it this way. Doing it through JavaScript, you could still do it. It would be a little bit tricky, probably easier to do it this way. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you uh, learned something along the way. Thanks.